Hi, I'm Rob Spears, and I am not a pro fisherman. Meet Jason Doya. He is a pro. Let's take a trip inside his mind. Jay is going to show us all the top secret tips and tricks that the pros don't want you to know. We're going to visit some of the best areas in Northern Ontario to show you where and how to find more fish and bigger fish. Let's find the right hook. Right Hooks is brought to you by Esso On The Run. Three locations to serve all your on-the-run needs. Welcome to Marmac Lodge. We're out here on the dock next to Lake Esenagi. If you want a family experience unlike no other up here in Northern Ontario, Marmac Lodge is the place to be. Let's go do some fishing. Well, we don't do it very often, Jay, but out here at Marmac Lodge, they tell us that live bait seems to be the most consistent producer of quality fish. You know what, there's no doubt, in the northern Ontario lakes, live bait is definitely king. Um, everybody uses it, it doesn't matter your skill level, it just produces fish. So sometimes when that bite gets super tough, you gotta go with what works. And Live bait always works. Chris told us to fish this transition, this little drop here between uh, eight and 14 feet and sure enough it came right at 13 feet. Pretty good advice from the guides up here at uh, Marmac Lodge. They really know their stuff. They're on the water every day and all they want to do is make sure that you catch fish. Look at this one. What a beauty walleye right there. Just so you guys know, we're going to put this on the measure board just so you can see. That's a 20 inch fish right there and that's an average fish here. What a beautiful walleye right there. So we saw some pretty incredible things here at the lodge this weekend, Jay. That bald eagle that grabbed that fish off the top of the shoal, I think we got footage of that. Oh, we got a fish! Look That's that. wild. Look at that. Hey, the eagle's got to eat too, right? That was unbelievable. I mean, that was, I don't even know how it carried that fish away. What a wilderness experience. That was great. I don't think I'm going to forget this one. No, this is exceptional. Nice walleye. Northern Ontario at its finest. I mean, bear hunting, fishing, monster walleye, monster pike. Where else can you find it but Algoma region? We just have this abundance of you know wildlife and, and natural beauty that's just, you just don't see it anywhere else. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. You know what? You can't experience this fresh air and these beautiful fish fries anywhere else except for here in Algoma region. Well, we were out in the boat and we decided to stop. It looked like it was getting a little rough, but it was like way across the lake. So I thought we had a little time to maneuver. Jay apparently thought so too, so I wasn't alone. And then this big front come through. We had like four foot waves and white wall of water coming at us. Barely made it to shore. Now we're really hungry. So thankfully it spurred us on to go to an early lunch here. Can't imagine a better filet in your life than one that's uh, just filleted and just going right in the oil, something else. Did they ever make that perfect crispy, fresh <laughs> walleye fillets? Yeah, fresh batter, fresh batter you said too, eh? Like they mix their own batter every morning. Make it fresh just before you go out. Slice the onions right there and the potatoes right in front of you. It's, it's really part of the whole experience of the lodge and everything. It's part of this Algoma experience. You know? I don't know if I'm gonna forget that anytime soon. It's starting to get dark because it's starting to move into the shallows. Nice ones here. Put it on this jig here and a worm. I switched from a leech to a worm to see if it happened. Put it right away. Nice fish. 
my first float plane experience. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a little nerve wracking. You're lining up down the lake. Sure enough, there it climbs. And you know what? We, you get to look down and see all the surrounding you know, area around you and all the lakes and the, and the beautiful bush down there. It's, it's just, it's, it really is unbelievable. Just floating over this vast wilderness of this region of Algoma, Northern Ontario, it, it blows your mind to see it <laughs> I mean, from that perspective. It's incredible. You got a good one here. Now oh, the live feed's still working. Another nice walleye. Look at the size of this one. That's a dead. There we go. I was just checking off bottom. Uh, they're still working with the leeches, so. The live bait ended up working out pretty well. Sometimes you, you can't just fake that kind of motion of a, a real live bait. What do you think, Jay? I love fishing with artificials, but you know, live bait is more consistent when the bite slows down. But sometimes when it goes really calm and quiet in the afternoon, live bait will still catch you those few fish that are just not catchable with artificials. Sometimes you just can't beat the real thing but you still gotta put it on the right hook. We'll see you next time.